Today, everybody, we're gonna be taking a look at all of my signed Funko Pops. And if you've been reading my comments for the last 76 days, Jake, it is day 77, you're getting your video. And I'm sure if you go to the comments, he's down there. But anyways, everybody, let's get into this because I have over 30 in my collection. And I feel like a great place to start is Marvel, where I have a couple different ones. We have Death Dealer signed by Andy Lee, which is one that I actually got from a mystery box, I believe. It's a pretty cool pop, and it's actually a character from, of course, Shang-Chi. Then after that, we have Grandmaster from Thor Ragnarok. I actually got this one signed at Toronto Comic-Con and even got to meet Jeff Goldblum in the process. Then we've got Drax signed by Dave Bautista, and this is another one that I got from a mystery box, but I still think is such an amazing one to have in the collection. It's a pretty unique signature. And then on the end here, we have Yondu signed by Michael Rooker. He was actually over at Niagara Falls. Falls Comic Con where I have a booth every year and I was lucky enough because I was there the entire weekend to just like see him out doing signatures so I went over and got one. And now I know what some of you guys are probably thinking, Tristan don't you have one more Marvel signed pop? Well that's right Jake, I do have another signed Funko Pop and the one that I've got is Vision signed by Stan Lee. I remember finding this when it was over at I want to say Toronto Comic Con or maybe Fan Expo. They're in the same location so it's hard to remember sometimes. But either way I bought it from a store that is around anymore called Play and Collect and they had it for $100 and so of course I had to go for it. I believe I picked this up about a year before he passed away so I'm guessing that's why it was so cheap because while he was alive there were so many things signed by Stanley and of course you can't get them anymore. So the ones that are around are becoming a little bit rarer because they're all going into people's collections that really want to keep them around and I will definitely never be getting rid of this one. Now everybody we've got my video game signatures with this first one over here being Master Chief signed by Steve Downs. The voice of Master Chief, and I love that they put I need a weapon right on the front. Then everybody, I've got a Pikachu signed by Veronica Taylor. A really neat one to have. Then over here on the end, we have my Overwatch characters, with both of them being Diva and Mercy. Diva is signed by Charlotte Chung. A really cool one, especially because of the amount of quotes they put on the box. Nerf this, level up, GG. Three of them, I've never seen that before on a character. And then of course, Mercy is signed by Lucy Pole, and I love that it says Heroes Never Die with the hearts in the corner, XX Mercy. They really did both go all out with their signatures. Now let's jump into my Pixar signed pops with the first one over here being the Ed Asner signed Alien remix of, of course, Carl from Up. He was the voice actor, which sadly passed away not too long ago, but the really cool thing is the Ed Asner Family Center, which is his charity, actually sent this over before he passed. And this is honestly one of those characters that I keep in a really nice spot. I will never be getting rid of this one because it is just such a cool character to own. Then everybody, we have Boo from Monsters, Inc. signed by Mary Gibbs. And actually, I can show you the back of the box because here is the picture with her signing it there. Really cool that it was included. And I guess just like the Overwatch one, she also put a quote on the front of the box. It says Boo, which is also her name. So it's like everything wrapped up in one. Then we've got this one here, everybody. The Underminer signed by John Ratzenberger. And I remember when he came to Niagara Falls Comic Con, I wanted to get, well, what's his name? The Yeti from Monsters, Inc. signed by him because he does a bunch of different Pixar voices. But there was a problem. It wasn't available yet. I believe it released like a few months after the con. I'm hoping he comes back sometime. But hold on, everybody. Before we continue, I have to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Whatnot. Now, it's actually pretty fitting that they're sponsoring the video today because I have a pop that's signed by a few people, not just one, that I actually picked up on the app. And the one that I'm talking about here is Carl signed three times. This is a brand new version of Carl that released recently. And what's so cool about it is that it's actually part of the Pops with Purpose line and $10 from every single one of these figures goes to the Ed Asner Family Center. And now if you're wondering who signed this character, it is Pete Doctor, the CCO of Pixar, as well as the director of Up, Jonas Rivera, a producer on Up, and Bob Peterson, a writer for Up, as well as the voice of Doug the Dog. So seriously, everybody, a crazy character. And I'm so glad that I was able to add another version of Carl signed to the collection. It's amazing. And so if you guys want to pick up a signed Funko Pop for yourself, go through the link in the description down below to check out Whatnot and all of these signed Funko Pops they have on the app. And there are dozens and dozens of them available on the app right now. And also, if you've never checked out Whatnot before, if you go through the link, you'll actually get $15 off your first purchase, which is a pretty good amount to go towards a character. Now, everybody, let's get back into these signed figures. And the one that I want to show you next is actually this here, Bat Boy. This is actually a character that was part of a Funko 
contest a few years ago where you could design one of their fantastic plastic characters. You know, the ones that don't have a license, but they're just like cool things that Funko artists have created. And this one here was actually won by Tanner Hedges. And I was actually lucky enough to go back to the Ed Asner Family Center again to win on their first ever auction, this signed one by Tanner. It is honestly such an amazing character because I am a huge fan of Bat Boy just in general. And then if you take a look on the side too, he even put a little doodle of Bat Boy. So a pretty fun character and also maybe one of the most unique I've got signed. Now we've got some movie characters and over here on the side we have a John Reese davies signed Gimli. I remember meeting him over at Toronto Comic Con. It was so cool because he actually chatted with us for like 10 to 15 minutes. Which if you've ever got something signed by somebody is a long, long time. And I also want to show you this because he didn't just sign it once on the front there. He actually signed it twice and I don't know if it was on purpose but either way it's a really cool thing to have. Then everybody we have Elliot from E.T. signed by Henry Thomas. I just got this one recently and he even put my name on the top which I think is actually really cool. It's funny I was at the con and I forgot to bring my character so I had to go hunting around to see if I could find one and I believe I got it for like 20, 25 bucks. It wasn't that bad. And now everybody you may notice in the middle here we've got another Jeff Goldblum signature. This time though it's Dr. Ian Malcolm and not the Taskmaster. One thing that I love about this character is that it's the wounded version so he's in the sideways box. My only signed character like this. Then everybody we have Lando Calrissian signed by Billy D. Williams. Another one that I got over at Niagara Falls Comic Con and this is again a really cool one too. I wanted to get the original Lando Calrissian signed but the problem was I couldn't find it anywhere and they had just released this one so it worked out. And then on the end here we have the Doc Emmett Brown signed by Christopher Lloyd. And there was a bit of a funny story about this one. He actually fell asleep in his hotel and forgot he was doing a signing. We were all waiting in line and then he came down being like, I'm so sorry everybody, but he signed for everyone. He was super nice. Hold on everybody, we're having a bit of a problem here. My comedian's pops kind of fit on camera. See what happens with these guys here is that a lot of the times they'll release the character like normal and if you wait a little bit, you can get it for like usually $40 or so, a signed version of it. And me being me, I decided why not let's wait for the signed version. So I have pretty much every single comedian pop signed by the comedian. We have Joe Coy over on the side here and I don't know if he ever did his second version of the pop signed. I don't have it though either way. And then everybody we have, uh, hold on here, Stadium Fluffy. We've got Dia de los Muertos Fluffy. We have Fluffy with his dogs, both Riza and Vinny. Then we have the second version of Stadium Fluffy. We also have the original one here too. I know, five signed versions of Fluffy. I just can't help myself. And then over on the end here, everybody, I have both versions of Jeff Dunham signed. We've got one with Walter as well as one with Peanut. Some really great stuff. And I like how he changed the color of the marker depending on which character it was. It's a cool bonus. And now everybody, we have all of my television characters. And I'm trying to think if I got any of these signed in person. I don't think so. The closest one to be like in person would be the Dundee Award because it was actually on Whatnot at a convention and it was Oscar Nunez just signing a bunch of characters while he was live instead of just like me getting it like online or from a box or something, you know? It was really cool though because he was signing a bunch of different things and I think I got this for like 60 or 70 bucks. It wasn't that bad. And then on the other side here, we have Overhaul, my only signed anime pop and I guess maybe you could count Pokemon, but the pops are for the game. And if you're wondering, this one here is signed by Kellen Goff. Then everybody in the middle here, we have Barb signed by Shannon Purser, a pretty cool one that I did get from a mystery box. Actually, all three of these were from different mystery boxes because this one over here is the Green Ranger signed by Jason David Frank. Such an amazing one to have. And I love the bright green marker on the Green Ranger. And this is cool too, because I got it from a Toy Tokyo mystery box. He was doing a signing there and this is the Toy Tokyo exclusive where he's metallic. Such an amazing character to have in the collection. Then on the end here, we have the Red Ranger signed by Steve Cardenas. And again with this one here, I love that it's signed with a red paint pen. It's just so perfect. And well, Jake, everybody else, there you go. That is all of my signed Funko Pops. And I hope you guys did enjoy because this was a good amount, actually more than I thought I had. I had to do a scan around the room to make sure I grabbed every single one of them. And anyways, this is seriously a lot of fun. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you tomorrow.